Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, we'll be taking apart the fake Nest Classic and seeing if there are any cool mod ideas that we can do with it. So apparently there's four screws on it and they're all under these four pads over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to peel each one off. They're just stuck on with like a bit of glue. That, um, you know, they should be able to take off and put back on fairly easily. Right, so that's all the feet off. Now I've just got a normal um, sort of Phillips head screwdriver and I'm just going to take all of the screws out. There you go. Oh, that's another screw just falling out. That's the whole lid off. There you go, all of the four screws are now out. Right guys, so as you can see the lid comes off very easily. There's nothing really much in the lid, it's just like a solid piece of plastic. So yeah, that's the lid. So inside, as you can see, there's just a tiny motherboard. That's actually pretty cool, I was expecting it to be bigger than that. So there's a tiny motherboard, we've got the power options over here. And yeah, that's actually a bit smaller than I imagine. So let's just take the whole motherboard out. So there's, looks like there's three screws holding the motherboard in. So now this whole piece should be able to lift out with the controller ports and this button piece should be able to lift out as well actually maybe that isn't coming out i'm not sure well that is very basic actually so as you can see there the controller ports it's literally just one motherboard that runs all these nest games so that's actually pretty cool so let's try and take this piece out here with all the buttons i should be able to just pull it or is it Oh, the LED is holding it in, so I'm going to push that out. There you go. So, take away the case. And that is it. We've got, um, oh, it even has it on here. We've got power switch. Reset switch. Um, LED. A piece of foam up here i'm not quite sure what that's doing maybe it's to protect this cable from the top casing then we've got the two controller ports here they're stuck on quite well and then we've got the motherboard chip there this is a chucky beat production. i guess that's what hell holds all the roms and stuff then we've just got the av port and the um micro usb power yeah so that is um very cool actually Right guys, so now we're going to have a look at some mods that we could possibly do with this. The first one I thought we could possibly do is by using the case. So I have got my Raspberry Pi Zero right here. And I've actually been looking at um, Nest cases for the Raspberry Pi Zero. And they're always about 30 to £40 pounds plus. So seeing as this whole thing was, um, you know, $10, £10, um, yeah, this would actually be a really cool case for it. So as you see, can see the Raspberry Pi is really small. So it would definitely be able to fit inside somehow. Um, you could possibly mount it here. And then the Raspberry Pi power cables should be able to slot in here. Let's, try, let's give it a try. We might have to make them a bit smaller. Oh no, there you go. The power cable fits in there perfectly. And then we could also have another cable running through there. Let's just give that a try, see if it fits. Yep, that fits as well. So we could connect up the Raspberry Pi inside. Um, one's power, one's USB. And you also have a mini HDMI, which could also run through here because I've got a very thin one. And yeah, that's definitely a... Um, you could, you could fit a whole USB hub in here as well. So if you guys, if you want to see a video like that, just let me know in the comments because that's definitely something that I'd be interested in doing. It might take some time to figure out how to do it, but it would definitely be a very cool mod. 
So the next mod I had an idea of doing would be to put this inside something a lot smaller. So I thought, why not choose a NES game? So I definitely think, um, I wasn't actually sure if this would fit, but yeah, I, I can definitely see it fit now. You could probably um, take this apart, remove the contents. Obviously I won't be using this exact one because um, this is like quite a nice game, but you can always get a really crappy NES game on eBay for about two pounds or something. And then just put this inside, the power switches could go there next to it. And that would definitely be a very cool option. You might have to drill some holes out um, for the power and AV ports, but I think apart from that, it would be definitely a possible and really cool mod idea. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys want to see any of the mod ideas that I said about in this video, um, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.